Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at setting due dates in your Workflow First applications. You can add due dates onto any type of record in your application, even multiple due dates on a record. And just by adding the due date, it gives you a number of useful features. It creates a report, it will email you the report to remind you on maybe a daily or a weekly basis. It will give you a calendar view showing all the due dates that are coming up. And it'll also provide integration into Outlook so that you can um, add those due dates onto your calendar or shared calendar in Outlook or um, maybe through Gmail or other calendar systems. You're going to get all of this, all of these features, simply by setting a due date field in one of your records. Really, really, really simple and provide you tons and tons of uh, benefits and functionality. So definitely use it if you can. Okay, so we're going to start out by looking at our demo app. And what we're going to do um, is actually add the due date to an existing workflow. So we have our tickets workflow here. Now, when someone enters in a ticket, we're going to allow them to specify a due date. That's going to be when they want that ticket to be resolved. So we click on the select input fields so we can um, add something onto this. And then we're going to click plus up here so we can specify our new field. So this is going to be a field that's going to be called uh, due by. Now, this is the important part. In the new field type, uh, and this will be the same when you're editing the field, um, when you select the field type, make sure you select date time due date, not date time general. Date time due date is what enables all the additional functionality. OK, so once you've selected that, click OK, and um, then we're actually done. Although I'm going to move this field. Um, I'm going to move it uh, underneath priority. And we're done. So let's publish this and see um, what it provides. And, and here you see our list of tickets. Now, you'll instantly notice there are some differences here. Um, the first probably is that you see there's a calendar link at the top. And that provides you um, just a calendar view, which will show you your due dates. We don't have anything right now, so we'll just leave that for a second. You'll also notice there's an iCal uh, link up here. That is what actually integrates into the calendar. It downloads an iCal file, which will have a list of all of the um, due dates in that particular um, table that you're looking at. There are some other changes, too. On the reports uh, drop-down, we now have a tickets due by tickler, um, which is an automatically generated report. We'll show you that in one moment. But let me just click Enter Ticket so we can start a new ticket. So we're going to enter in uh, something here. Let me put um, running low on coffee. Please order some more. Or something. Let's say that's a high priority. And now we have our due by uh, field right here, which shows us a calendar. And we can select, um, let's say we select something for the 29th. And we'll click OK. So that's added in our new, our new ticket. And now immediately, if I click on calendar, I should see down here on the 29th um, that I have the item showing up in the calendar right here. And I click on that and it takes me to that p particular ticket. That can be very useful in itself. Um, I can also go to reports and click on the tickets due by tickler. And that will generate a report for us. And it will tell you, it will group everything by month, upcoming months. I think it shows you for the next, um, for the next couple of months looking ahead. It gives you uh, the title and whereabouts it is, um, and, uh, and how many days are left. It's very, very useful. Um, that's one. Now, that, that report that actually comes, um, that, that can be generated manually by clicking here, you can also set it up so that it sends it to you automatically. If you go to the Configuration tab, um, there's a, a little drill down here called Report Subscriptions. If you click on that and click on Plus, you can set this up so that uh, by selecting the user and by selecting your tickets due by tickler right here, you can set this up so that it goes out to you every week or every two weeks or whenever you like. You can say the time of the day that it goes, 8 a.m. maybe. You can even say what holiday schedule it comes out on if you don't want it to come out on weekends, for example, and whether it stores an archive. Once you click OK on that, that will actually schedule the report to come out so that every um, what did I put every week this report's going to come straight to my inbox and I'll see exactly what's going to be due for that coming week. 
so I can then prioritize what tiles need to be completed. And if we go back to tickets um, and we click the iCal link at the top here, uh, this actually downloads um, an ICS file. If I click on that, um, that takes me straight into Outlook. Um, let's get rid of this here. Um, and we should see that, uh, yeah, right here on the 29th, we have our item that was um, that we just entered into the database. So we can even integrate it directly into Outlook. Um, I think it also works with Gmail as well. And, uh, and that's uh, what you basically get just from setting a due date. Um, of course, you don't have to, this doesn't have to be a field that you enter in. It can also be something that is calculated. Um, if you want to put an expiry on something, for example, uh, you can have a calculated field that maybe adds 30 days onto the current date, sets that as a due date, and then you'll be alerted um, when things are expiring. Um, it's an incredibly useful feature, and um, have fun with it.